Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about what to do if your MacBook battery is draining a little too fast. This issue is so prevalent with all of us MacBook users because the day we buy this new computer, these things last for like six hours easily, but then all of a sudden we notice that they last only three or two on any given day, sometimes under heavy usage or when it's just idling by and we're not really doing anything. And there's honestly so many reasons why this could be happening. And in this video, we're going to be tackling a few of those issues. So let's start off with tip number one, which is to manage your power adapter preferences. So this tip is all about telling your MacBook on how to manage power when you're not plugged in and when you're only using battery power. So the first thing that you could do is to go to your system preferences and I'm running the new Mac OS Ventura so my menu might look a little bit different. I'm going to go down a lock screen and head over to start screensaver when inactive and you could click a time that actually makes sense for you because when you are leaving your MacBook just open you want the screen to shut off so it saves power. That could be three minutes when you're walking away or 15 minutes when you're busy doing something else. The next thing that you could do is to actually head over to the battery tab and when you see the energy mode section this is where it shows how your macbook will start to use power when it's on battery mode or on the power adapter the idea is pretty self-explanatory but if you're running very energy heavy programs like maybe adobe photoshop or adobe premiere if you're on battery power alone your macbook might automatically sense that and say hey we're going to throttle the performance so that we could save energy and if you're plugged into the wall we're going to max out that energy and depending on who you are you could still choose to max out performance even if you're on battery performance or just to bring it all down in general. But that's just another thing to consider when conserving battery health. And speaking of battery health, tip number two is all about that and we're going to get into some juicy details. So the first thing that I'm going to mention is to use a program called Clean My Mac X and it's pretty much just a one-stop shop software that makes everything from like malware removal to removing system junk or even checking your battery health all in one place and it's very convenient. But the thing that I'm going to do is check out this dashboard on the top right corner where this Clean My Mac X icon is and it shows all this quick useful information from how much hard drive space I have left or how much my CPU is running, but I'm going to click on the battery section. And over here, it's going to show me the health of my battery, how much power is discharging, and even the temperature of the battery, which is very important. And as you can see on my screen, my battery is rated at 88% of its original strength, which is not the best and not the worst. But basically what it's trying to tell me is that my MacBook can no longer hold a true 100% charge, even though it can hit 100% on the screen, which would explain why my MacBook feels like it's draining a little bit too fast. It's mainly because it just can't hold as much battery health as it did when I first bought it. And again, there's a whole bunch of reasons why that is. But for me personally, I'm pretty sure it's because I leave my MacBook charging a little bit too long every single day. Sometimes it's just good to charge it up to 100% and let it drain all the way down and maybe even die sometimes because you have to let that battery cycle itself out. And another piece of information that is really valuable is if you go back to that dashboard it says 100 out of 1000 charge cycles that is telling me and you that this macbook battery is rated for a thousand charge cycles which means you could go from zero to 100 percent 1000 times and i've done that about 100 after one and a half years of owning this macbook that's definitely something to keep in mind when you're using your device a lot and sometimes when you're charging too much is actually draining out the longevity of the battery tip number three is all about unplugging your usb devices whether that is just your phone plugged into your laptop or an SSD drive that you're trying to work off of when you're editing photos or videos, all that power has to come from somewhere and that somewhere is your laptop battery. It's a very simple thing to mention, but it's something to keep in mind whether you're working at school or at a cafe and you have like maybe a keyboard, a mouse, your phone and something else plugged in, it could drain your MacBook pretty fast. Tip number four is also a very simple one and that is to reduce your screen brightness. If you're using your laptop indoors, you do not need to max out your screen brightness. And I know it seems dim for the moment when you reduce that brightness, but your eyes will adjust very quickly and you could actually get a lot out of your laptop when you're at half brightness. I know Apple makes very beautiful monitors and displays for us to enjoy media on, but you don't need to run 100% brightness all the time. Plus, it's actually not that good for the LEDs in your screen anyways to run it at max strength all the time. Tip number five is finding out what is using energy on your laptop. You can use something called the activity monitor, which lists out every single process and program down to the detail and how much capacity they're taking up in your CPU, your RAM, and of course, your battery. If you see anything out of the ordinary, you could highlight that process and click on the stop button and it'll immediately quit it and save you the trouble of dealing with it. Or you can use Clean My Mac X and head over to the optimization tab because maybe there's some unidentifiable process that's running in the background and it's very hard to find. So if you use Clean My Mac X, you could run those simple tasks to fix that problem. And while you're there, maybe you could scan for malware because there might be some kind of harmful thing that's going on in the background as well. And Clean My Mac X can detect that and clean it for you. There's a download 
link in the description box below and I highly recommend this program because it really just makes everything about your Mac so much simpler. Another important thing to keep in mind is tip number six, which is to disable Bluetooth while your Mac is asleep. Nowadays, we use so many wireless devices like our headphones, our AirPods, our mouse, our keyboard, whatever. And when our Mac is asleep, it's actually just trying to keep in sync with all of that at the same time. And that drains power, even though it's asleep. So right before you close that lid, you can easily head over to the Bluetooth tab and just switch it off so that you can save that power when you're not using your MacBook. The last tip that I'm going to be sharing with you today is to reset the system's management controller or the SMC. The SMC manages all the hardware processes, including how the battery works in your MacBook. If you tried out those last six tips and none of them work, this is your last resort. So you're going to shut off your MacBook, hold down shift control option, hold down the power button for 10 seconds, then let it go and then press the power button again to reset the SMC in your MacBook and then it'll come back alive and hopefully everything is fixed out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below if any of the tips work for you and I will see you in the next video. Peace.